Lawmakers are asking to create a new division in the state's Economic Development Department to stimulate jobs in a large range of creative industries in the state outside of film. News 13's Natalie Watt has heard from Senate and House sponsors of this bill and joins us live from the Roundhouse. Natalie. Jessica, Senator Je Jeff Steinborn and Representative Rena Sapansky are introducing House Bill 8 to try to give New Mexico another economic industry to rely on. They're trying to replicate the success of the film industry in other creative arenas. As we diversify our economy, we must not lose the heart and soul of New Mexico. Instead, it's time to embrace it, our creative industries. The bill calls for a one-time appropriation of $67 million from the general fund and an operating budget of $2 million. Now, the division would promote the arts in the state, ranging from performing arts to architecture to software design, even culinary arts. It would support educational and workforce training initiatives and help create public infrastructure to support these industries. And while some state leaders are cautioning that this year's surplus budget should mostly be saved for a rainy day, Senator Steinborn defended the money they're asking for. Our revenue that we have now is going to go away and we need to create replacement revenue to fund the state of New Mexico and so it's incredibly important that we invest in new ideas, that we grow new industries, that we double down on our strengths. We have historic reserves but we also have historic revenue and a, a golden moment right now to invest in new new job creation initiatives and that's what this is and it's now, this bill is scheduled to go before the House Commerce and Economic Development Committee Monday. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Natalie. Lawmakers say the creative and cultural industry contributes $5.6 billion to the state economy and provides nearly $2.5 billion in wages every year.